Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing another color demo. We've got Crayfish from MF. I've got Tequila Sunrise from Bait Plastics. Blue Fleck from Do It Molds. And Raspberry from Lurecraft. We're going to start with the Crayfish color. We'll get this first cup of plastic cooked up and we'll meet you right back. Alright, so here we go with our Crayfish color. So I have used this color before, it's just been a really long time and I don't really remember exactly what it looks like. So we're going to start with 20 drops. We'll see where that gets us. It's got more of a orangish red, almost like a rusty looking color than what I remember. But pretty cool. So that's still pretty translucent. So let's go with another 10. All right, I think I'm going to add just one drop of black. So you can see, I don't know how well you guys can see it on the camera. It has that almost like a pearly effect. And anything with like a pearl or a highlight powder, that one drop of black for the base color really just kind of sets it off. So let's go with one drop of that. All right, and then I think for flake, what I want to add is some medium black flake. So we're going to go with the 0 .040. I'm just going to sprinkle a little in. I'm not going to measure it today. And then I want to go with, let's go with some of the small 0 .015 copper. I think that copper will kind of complement that crayfish color really well. Get all of this stirred in. All right, so I think we're gonna leave it at that. And of course, since this is a crawfish color, we're gonna make some craws. I'm going to get this plastic back up to working temp, and then we're going to inject. We got our plastic ready. We're going to go with this first run. And for this one, I'm making some of the 3.4 inch Ecto Cross. My little neighborhood has a little local pond that we all fish, and we stocked it this year, but all the bass are still, I'd, I'd say the majority of bass are probably two pounds and under. So I feel like I get a few more bites on the 3.4 than I do the 4-inch. So we're going to make some of these and we'll check them out. We are ready to check out this first one. Yeah, so you can see here, let me get these out of the mold. It has, like I mentioned, kind of like a rusty looking color. Just like that reddish brown with kind of like a, a hint of orange. Really cool, just like natural crawl looking color. I like that one quite a bit. Well, you can see here in the claws where it's still pretty translucent, but then the body looks nice and dark and opaque. Pretty cool little color. I'm going to get the rest of that plastic warm back up and make one more run. Here we go with round two. And there we have the second round. So I don't know how well you can really see it on camera, but the body still keeps that kind of a, a nice dark brown color. And then these claws bring out more of that red. So just a really cool little color. Um, this will be, so these little Ecto Craws are one of my favorite craw mold, molds for Texas rigs. And then they work really well on the back of a jig. That's the two main ways that I like to fish these things. Um, in some of the places that I fish right now, the fish are all stacked up in grass lines. And so I'll throw this thing on a Texas rig and just bring it right along the edge of the grass line. Works really well for that. But yeah, really cool little color. And that was the, let me find it. That was the crayfish color by MF. Pretty cool little crawl color. And now we're going to get on to the tequila sunrise. We got our second cup of plastic cooked up. We're going to move on to this Tequila Sunrise. Now, this is another color that I've used before, 
but it's probably been two years or so since I used it last. We're going to start with just 10 drops at first because bait plastics pigment can be a little thicker and more concentrated than others. So we're going to take this one a little slower. All right, so that's a... The color itself looks really good, but it's still really thin, so I'm going to go with another 10. There's 10 more, so we're up to 20. This reminds me a lot of the... Um, changeable violet color from mf it's kind of like a nice morning dawn looking color all right so i'm going to go 10 more it's still pretty thin that puts us at 30 drops so far I'm going to go with 10 more. So I am think I'm going to make some drop shot worms with these. And the body of the worm is really small. So you want to keep in mind, if you're making thicker baits, you can get away with your color being a little more translucent. But when you're making really thin baits, sometimes you need to add a little more pigment to get the right concentration based on the thickness of the bait. So that'll put us up to 40 drops total for one cup, which is pretty average. A lot of companies mix their colors based on around 30 to 40 drops per cup. So that's about right for what most companies say. So there we go. I'm going to get this thrown back in the microwave real quick, and then we're going to make some drop shot worms. We are ready to inject this first one. I wanted to make the first run with no flake and then see if I feel like adding any flake after the fact. So we're going to make this first run with just the tequila sunrise color and then we'll adjust from there if needed. We are cooled off. It is time to check out these little drop shot worms. So yeah, this is basically a morning dawn um you can see it's a little almost like a deeper kind of richer purpley version of morning dawn but if you don't have a dual injector or a way to make laminates and you want to make just a single solid color definitely give this one a try like i said it reminds me a lot of the mf uh, changeable violet this one just almost has like a Almost like a richer color to it, but really, really cool color. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get the rest of that plastic heated up, make a second run, and then we'll move on to blue fleck. There is round number two. Looks just as good as the first one. These are going to be really, really good. I throw these on a drop shot. That's basically the only way I ever throw them. I'll either nose hook them or use one of the owner cover shot hooks. Really, really great finesse presentation. So those are going to work really well. And now we're going to move on to blue fleck. We got our plastic ready for the blue fleck. Now, one thing I did want to touch on, see where it says X2 on the bottle. So the X2 colorants from Do It are supposed to be two times as concentrated. So don't use as much right off the bat as you would with others. We're going to start with five drops of this to get going. Let's see where these five drops gets us. So yeah, you can see how concentrated that color is already. That's just with five drops. And that's equivalent to some of the thinner colors at probably 25 to 30 drops. So just definitely take your time. Really cool color. I actually have not used this one before. Um, so this will be the first time that I've used this. We're going to go five more. There's actually six drops in that one, but we'll be good. All right, and I think that's all the pigment that we're going to use. So we we're only at 11 drops of colorant for one cup of plastic. So when they say that it's two times as concentrated, that's exactly what they mean.
All right, and then for it to be a true blue fleck color, we're gonna go with some medium size blue flake. So traditionally the blue fleck colors are pretty flake heavy. So we're gonna add a decent amount of this, if I can get it to come out. All right, let's see where that gets it. So that's pretty good so far, but I think I wanna add a little bit more. Yeah, I think the first blue fleck that I ever used was from Zoom. Um, it was one of their, I don't remember if it was the old monster worm or which one it was. It was one of their ribbon tail worms. I actually think I want a little bit more. Um, but that's when I realized how flake heavy this color actually was. All right, let's get all this mixed in. And then in saying that, I feel like... We would be wrong to make anything other than some ribbon tail worms. So we're going to get this plastic up to the right temp, and then we're going to make some ribbon tails. Here we go with round one. This is the 7.5 inch ribbon tail mold by Angling AI. Here we have both runs of those ribbon tail worms. Super, super cool. This is, I would refer to this as kind of an old school color. But if you've never thrown some ribbon tail worms or even some like trick worm style worms in this blue fleck color in the summertime, definitely give this one a shot. Throw these little guys on a little Texas rig with probably a three out, four out hook, and you are good to go. Really, really nice color. I like this one a lot. I've had this color for probably a year, and I've that's the first time I've used it. And now I'm wishing I would have used it a long time ago. Really, really cool color. You can see. In the tails where it's really thin, that blue flake really stands out and shines. Um, I don't really know what it is about this color. Nothing really looks like that in the water, but this color produces a lot. Really, really cool color. Let me know if you guys like this one. We're going to get that last cup of plastic cooked up, and we're going to move on to raspberry. We got our last cup of plastic cooked up, and we got our raspberry. I'm going to start with 10 drops. So there we go with 10. Honestly, this kind of looks like a mix of the two colors that we just did. It kind of looks like an in-between of the uh, Tequila Sunrise and the Blue Fleck. I expected it to be a little more red than this. But... That's why we test these colors out. So if you guys are looking for a more red color, definitely I would get, let me grab it. If you want more of a red color, go with the strawberry color. This raspberry online kind of looks a little more red, but here it's definitely more of like that. That's the best way I can think to describe. It's literally like the in-between of Tequila Sunrise and Blue Fleck. It's a cool color, not what I was expecting, but I kind of like it. Now, do I want to... I want to add some flake to this one because I didn't add any to the Tequila Sunrise, and I feel like this is so close that I want to do something a little bit different. So let me figure out which one I want. All right, guys, so I think what I'm going to do is add some medium and some small green flake, and it'll kind of be a twist on like a red bug color. We're going to go with some of the 0 0.04 medium flake and then some of the 0 0.015 small flake. Get this mixed in. It's going to be a little more uh, pink than a traditional red bug, but I feel, ooh, I actually like that a lot. Hmm, interesting. This may be one of the new go-to's for this color. All right, so we're gonna get this plastic reheated and 
Same as the other three. We're going to make a couple rounds and check this thing out. Here we go with the first round. Before I make both of these rounds and show you guys, what bait do you think we're going to be making? All right, here we go for round two. Before I open this mold and show you guys, leave your guesses down in the comments of what mold you think we're using for this color. All right, this is round two. We're going to see if any of you guys got this right. We made some four and a half inch brush hogs. So this color, like in the cup, looked a lot different than it does in this bait with all these real thin appendages. It almost, in person, it reminds me of, it looks like if you were to, have, were to have taken some red bug and some June bug remote and melted it together, this is what you would get. It's a really, really cool color. It's a little more, like laying in the mold with the silver underneath it, it looks a little more purple. And then when you get it out in the natural light, it has that more of a red tone. So yeah, if you were to just think of red bug and June bug mixed together, and that's what you're gonna get. I think that's gonna be a really, really cool color. So we're gonna get all of the baits that we just made together. We're gonna do a close up of all of them and we'll see what you guys think. Here are all the baits from today's haul. So we'll do an up close of each one. So here's that crayfish color. Um, with the medium black flake and the small copper flake. Really, really cool, natural um, crawfish color. I like this one a lot. Out of all of them, and I don't know if it's because these three are so similar, I kind of feel like this one is my favorite of the four. I really, really like this. That color turned out really well. The way that copper flake kind of plays off of that um, pigment works really, really well. I like that one a lot. Then we have our tequila sunrise and these little drop shot worms. This is, um, I'll leave all the molds that I used today down below. This is the BTS mold. It's the closest thing that I could find to an actual robo worm. But really, really cool little bait. Again, that's the tequila sunrise with no flake in it. Then we have our blue fleck. You can see in the tail how translucent the tail still stays while the body stays pretty thick. I feel like that is how the original blue fleck was supposed to look. Really, really cool color there too. And then last but not least, we have these baby brush hogs in the raspberry. I'm going to try to get this. It Every time I look at it, it looks like it changes. Sometimes it looks more purple, like kind of a traditional June bug, and then other lights it looks, the red really brings out in, or the red kind of like comes out in it and looks like the red bug. But either way, really, really cool little color. I like that one a lot. Um, and then one other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get, once they all cool off, I'm gonna get all the pucks out of the cups because I feel like sometimes the puck really shows and like showcases that color really well. But yeah, let me know which one of these you guys like the best. All these colors are great options. Again, the cross over here, that is MF's crayfish color. For these little drop shot worms, that is Bait Plastics Tequila Sunrise. For the ribbon tails, we used Blue Fleck from Do It Molds. And then the last one for the baby brush hogs was Raspberry from Lurecraft. Let me know which ones you guys like the best, which one's your favorite. Thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.